In today's video, we will show how to make a connection to a file catalyst server for remote administration. This video assumes that you have already installed the file catalyst server administration tool and that remote administration is enabled on the file catalyst server. Before we can connect to the remote file catalyst server, we need to add a new site. Click the manage button, then add a new site. Name the site whatever you like, though of course it's a good idea to make it easy to remember. Next, enter the host name, which is either an IP or a domain name. Our file catalyst server is using the default port, so we'll leave that, and then click Close. Make sure your new site is selected from the drop-down. Enter your remote administration username and password, which is already set on the file catalyst server, and click Login. The session starts and the File Catalyst server interface appears. Almost every function available on the File Catalyst server is available through the Remote Admin tool. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check this channel or our website for more tutorials, including configuring the File Catalyst server to enable remote administration.